Hi everyone. So I just want to start out this video by saying that I am only posting this video to my group. It is going nowhere else unless the people in my group decide to share the link. Um, that is up to them, not me, but I am just saying that I'm not going to publicly post this on YouTube for the whole world to see. This is just basically geared towards the people who buy wax from vendors. Um, so let me start out by saying that I buy wax from vendors. Most of you guys buy wax from vendors. And um, there is a certain trust quality that we all assume is there in buying the wax. Um, it goes from, you know, paying with PayPal and, you know, having our email addresses, our PayPal information, our home addresses shared with the person that we are buying from, the business. Now, I, you know, personally only buy from vendors that I trust, um, vendors that are very well known throughout the wax community. It has recently come to my attention that uh, someone in this group started selling wax and the reason why I'm making this video is not to bash this person because this person may be a good person. Um, it may just be that this person has made some bad business choices, but at any rate, um, there has been no apology. There has been more bashing towards other people and I really want to get the word out, I guess, to you guys so you guys don't fall trap to number one, this business, and number two, other people who are taking after, you know, these same qualities in this business. Um, so many of you may know that Pinky Parker, I believe, is the name that she went by, um, is now gone from my group. I unfortunately had to cut her out. Pinky has been a part of my group for not as long as some of you guys have, but she's been there for a while. Um, her and her husband joined my group, and um, I actually got, you know, several cards in the mail from her. Um, I actually got a Christmas gift from her. She had sent me some candles that she had melted down and turned them into tarts and gave them to me for Christmas. And, I mean, that was all great. That was, you know, a very, very nice thought, and um, I do greatly appreciate that. So some of you may ask, how is it that somebody could have been, you know, such a good part of, you know, my group and then all of a sudden turned into somebody that I blocked out of my group? And again, I'm not trying to say this video or do this video to bash anybody. It's just, I, I feel like it's my responsibility to get this information out to you guys so the same thing doesn't happen to you. So basically what happened was I had somebody contact me um, and let me know that they bought wax from Pinky. And I had no idea that Pinky was actually selling her own wax, that she has a company. And I guess the company is called Pinky's Picture Perfect Wax Tarts. Um, and I had no idea. I was actually very, very surprised. I thought that I would be one of the first people to know, um, but I had no idea that that was happening. And like I said, she did, you know, give me some wax tarts for Christmas. What happened was she wanted to give me um, one of the pumpkin candles from Bath and Body Works, and instead of shipping it, she melted the wax down and then made it into tarts and gave it to me. Well, recently um, I was contacted by somebody that has been in the group that is very trustworthy. And she had told me that, you know, she heard about Pinky's Wax and she really wanted to try it and buy it. And everybody, you know, within Pinky's group was giving some, you know, rave reviews and things like that. Um, but she didn't know the people that were giving the reviews. She didn't really recognize anybody from my group or from other groups. Um, but anyway, she wanted to try the wax. So she did place an order. And when she got the wax, um... She said that I think she ordered, and please don't quote me because I may be wrong. Well, I'm not even going to say a number. She ordered several cents, and let's just say nine out of the ten cents didn't have any scent whatsoever, and they all arrived to her in a plastic baggie. Now, usually wax vendors will send their wax that they make in, um, you know, these special bags that wax vendors buy from Amazon or whatever to make sure that the scent stays in the wax. Because if you uh, package your wax 
with Ziploc bags, the oils are going to come out and the scent is going to dissipate and you will have wax that is not scented. This is something that wax people know about. Um, maybe the general public does not. Um, also, when she labeled her wax, she wrote it on tape and then stuck it to the Ziploc bag instead of buying professional labels and, you know, making it look like a business. Um, so this person, you know, was upset, genuinely, you know, a little bit upset and actually contacted the, you know, the vendor. And Pinky had told her at that time um, that, you know, other people had gotten her wax from that batch and or from the batch and they didn't have any complaints whatsoever. And the wax is fine. And, you know, I, th and that was basically it. And the girl's like, okay, well, like, you know, your wax arrived in a Ziploc bag and I, you know, need a refund. And Pinky basically said, it's not going to happen. So the girl made a claim with PayPal. And um, basically what happened was PayPal looked at both sides and the girl who ordered the wax, they gave that girl her money back, but then they also did not take the money out of Pinky's account. They just flagged her account stating that, okay, this, you know, must be one of the first couple times that this happened and, you know, whatever. So that wasn't the issue. Um, a little bit faulty you know, there's like a, a little bit of things business-wise that happened there. Um, but that wasn't that um, traumatic that made me, you know, get her out of the group. Basically, what happened was the girl contacted me and then proceeded to tell me that some of her information was given out in Pinky's group and then also in another Bath & Body Works group and I'm not real sure which Bath and Body Works group it is. There's it was a huge group of like over a thousand people, possibly even bigger, and she gave her information out. Now when I'm talking about information, I am talking about her PayPal email. I am talking about her address. I am talking about her first and last name. I am talking about the PayPal transactions number, the claim number for Pinky and the claim number for this other person. Um, completely, completely unprofessional. That really arced me. Underneath no circumstances should any business person be posting somebody else's address in their group. Um, I don't care if it's a P.O. box. I don't care if it's a home address. I don't care if it's their grandmother's address. You do not post that information. You do not post their PayPal email account in your group. Shame on you. Um, so basically, after that, I booted her. I... I had to. I had no other alternative. Um, everybody who basically found out about this, there were only a few people. We took screenshots. We called PayPal. Um, we reported it. We reported it for Facebook as well. Um, and now that is in their hands. But basically why I'm making this video again is to make the wax community um, aware that this stuff is happening. There are going to be new vendors out there that are going to try to mock sell this wax. Um, other people were, and I'm sure this is word of mouth and I don't know, but other people were saying that basically what she's doing is she's buying a whole bunch of Bath and Body Works candles on clearance. She's melting those down and making them into tarts and then selling them. That's a problem as well. Um, a true wax vendor will have a crap ton of oils. They will have the bags. They will have the labels. They will order their wax in bulk. Um, you know, this is a process. This isn't something where you just wake up one day and say, you know what, I think I'm going to make wax and I think I'm going to open up my own store and it is going to be fabulous and everybody is going to buy from me. No, that is not the case. Um, it takes a lot uh, to create your own wax business and start selling. It's a it's a huge, huge thing. Um, I doubt Candles from the Keeping Room would send her wax cubes in Ziploc bags. I doubt the Bathing Garden would send a Ziploc bag um, with her clamshell. I doubt that 
picks petals and scents would do that as well. Like these wax vendors that I'm thinking of, like they all are very professional and I just don't get it. So um, I did want to just put the word out there, let you guys know that this is happening. Please be aware, ask questions. Don't just go by what the people in the group are saying because those people could be their cousins, their aunts, their nieces and their nephews and you don't know who you're getting advice from, go to the other groups and ask around and say, have you guys ordered? Have you guys ordered? Well, what do you think? How is the throw? Um, you know, ask questions because you could get suckered into something. And um, I mean, if she's going to post one person's address or multiple people's address or personal information, she's going to do it to you too. And um it just goes to show how, I guess, people can be nowadays. I don't know. But I just thought that I would let you guys know that this is happening. And that is the reason why she is not in my group anymore. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm not taking any apologies. I know you guys um, strive to be in this group because it is drama-free. Um, you guys didn't know that this all went down. Sorry, I'm going to take a drink of my water. You guys didn't know that this all went down. This all happened last week. Um, I try to keep things really hidden. This isn't the first time that something like this has happened. This has happened a lot of times. There has been, from my end, there has been a lot of drama in my group, but I strive to make sure that you guys don't see it. Um, and that is the big thing. I just, I want to eliminate it and stay away from it as much as possible. So, with that all said, thank you guys so much for watching and have a happy day. Bye, everyone.